Howdy folks, you're watching Deuce. Let's talk about prepping today. Now, prepping is not hard. It is a very simple concept. You accumulate a bunch of junk that you can imagine a scenario where you might need it in case of an emergency. All you need is an imagination and a credit card and you're good. Now, most people, including myself, will run out of money way before they'll run out of their imagination. So what I've done over the last 20 years is put together, whittle down exactly what I need and put together a prepping setup for food that will fit in a five gallon bucket. First of all, step one, you will need a good high quality five gallon bucket with a lid. I highly recommend the Home Depot or Lowe's. So let's do this. Now I've got a camera above us too. So there we go. That should be looking straight down into the bucket. The heart of my system here is canned proteins. That will get you a very long way without taking up too much space. And I like canned stuff. I don't like the dry goods in a bucket setup because you still have to find water. You're still having to heat the water, boil the water either over a stove or an open fire or something. I don't like that. I want to have a spoon, a can opener and a meal. And that's it. If, if that's all I've got, you can get by with a, a spoon and a can of beans. You can get a long way with that. And that's what I like about this. So we're going to go ahead and put together several cans of beans here. Now, of course, you're not going to eat these all day, every day, because that would just rip your insides in two. But this will be the base of our bucket. And there we go. Again, let's do this. We have meats. You want to get your spams. You want to get, uh, let's see, your deviled ham. Get your deviled ham in here too. You got even some corned beef. Corned beef's in the can. The tinned meats, they last a very long time. They're very filling. They're very high caloric content. They got lots of fat, lots of calories. That's exactly what you want when food goes short. Oh, some Hormel hot chili. There you go. You need some of that too. Luncheon meat, I'm not sure how that tastes. I've never tried that before. Somehow this snuck into my setup. I've got two deviled hams here. Now this is basically a, a meat pate. I think this is, yeah, this is ham, a ham pate. And they will, um, they'll put these in a lot of MREs. If you open up a lot of the foreign, foreign made MREs for Italy and, and Germany and Russia and whatnot, all the NATO, all the NATO countries and whatnot, you'll find a lot of meat paste, a lot of meat pates. And it's just an easy way to, an easy and cheap way to get protein out in the field that does not require refrigeration. This is a big jar of peanuts. Uh, these last for a pretty long time. Now, one thing about the expiration dates is that you're gonna go over some of these expiration dates and it's fine. Those are best buy dates, not they will kill you after this date. So go ahead and put some peanuts in there. Again, we're looking for maximum amount of protein and calories in the smallest package possible. That is still an individual size enough to where you can eat one meal, basically like one meal a day, which I'll go over exactly the philosophy behind this setup here momentarily. Uh, more meat. I came across this. I've never tried this. I might buy another one just to test it out to see how good it is. It's basically just a canned ham. We've had, I've had it as kids. I'm sure many of you have, some of you have not, depending on how old you are. Oh, uh, let's see here. Another Clover Valley. I went by Dollar General, as you can tell. Got some roast beef, some cooked roast beef, of course, in a can. Snugs right in there. Some more chili. You can't have enough chili. You cannot have enough chili. Let's see, I had this, uh, I had this sitting in my pantry, so I decided to throw that in there because it's still pretty good as far as the expiration date goes, but some beef stew, just some good hearty, hearty stuff with some fluid, some fat, some meat, some vegetables in there. And it's another thing is some vegetables. So we've got some corn, some, uh, some peas, because you want some starches in there as well. Now this will not be 100% complete because um, the person I'm putting this together for, they already have some canned vegetables that they want to put in there and some uh, instant coffee because they're going to need their coffee. Um, I can do without coffee if I have to. They apparently cannot. So they're willing to sacrifice of a can of vegetables for a little tin of instant coffee. 
you know, you, you want to, you want to make this your own. You want to make this, uh, customize this to your own needs. And this person needs their coffee. Even in an emergency, they need their coffee. If you're putting together more than one bucket, then in your first bucket, you want to put together just a few odds and ends that you might need that are not food. And number one, you're going to want some sort of light source. We have, this is my favorite little tiny flashlight. It's a double A flashlight. It's a through night T10 and it is fantastic. It lights very well. It's got three different modes. I've done a video on this. I've buried this in the ocean and it worked just great. I'm just going to throw that in there along with some spare batteries. These batteries are good for 10 years and I believe we are about five years into those. <laughs> so we got another five years in here, which is fine for the setup, which I'll get to here in a second. So we got a little package of batteries in there. You're also going to want a source of fire. So grab yourself a, a lighter. Now a, um, a book of matches. That's a good idea too. But if you're in a situation, an emergency situation where you need this prepping food, it's prepper food out then are you really going to want to put all of your hopes and dreams on a book or a box of matches? No, you want to start out with something easy. So if you got a lighter, throw it in there. Not a big deal. All right. Let's see. Water purification. I've got these little tablets here, little iodine tablets here. They don't make the water taste great, but they work. And along with that, I'm going to throw in a, a Sawyer water filter. Any kind of water filter will do. That's helpful. A life straw. Life straws are great. I highly recommend those as well. Uh, with all this canned food, you're going to need something to eat it with. So a tactical spork from K-Bar. You got your knife. You got your spoon. You got your fork. And that's 100% K-Bar awesomeness. Also made in USA. I will also recommend a candle of some sort. Now, normally I recommend just to cut, throw a couple of emergency tea lights in there. And they, they're great because they're tiny. They take up very little room. They have their own little tin that they sit in. So you don't have to worry about where you place them pretty much. And lastly, I want to put in an airplane bottle of booze. Now, why am I doing that? Well, because there's only two scenarios that you should be opening this bucket up. And that gets to my philosophy here. If you, if you use this correctly, if you, if you prep this correctly, you will not waste any money. And that's the perfect part about this is that I, I designed this 20 years ago when a certain person was running for president who also had claimed to have invented the internet. And when I saw that Al Gore was probably going to win the president of the United States, I decided I had to start prepping. But I was a school teacher at the time. I had very, very little money. And because of my lack of money, I had to put together a prepping philosophy like this that would keep me from wasting money. And that's the, that's the beautiful part of this kind of setup is because the, the bucket of food, the bucket is dirt cheap and you can reuse that over and over again. The food inside, you will eat. I will eat this food eventually, or my friend will in this case. But every four years, every presidential election, I prep another bucket and I eat out of the, the bucket I had. So every four years, this food will sit here for four years and then I'll empty it out, refill it with new food, and I will cycle through that food in my pantry. And it just goes a little cycle here. So every four years, if I don't have an emergency situation where I have to crack open my, my bucket of, um, of food, I can celebrate with a mini bottle of booze. But if a scenario does show its head where I do have to open up my prepping food early in case of disaster or whatnot, I'm probably going to need a drink. So... I highly recommend throwing a small bottle of booze into your prepping bucket. If you're smart about the food you put in your bucket, then the five gallon prepper pail will last one person about two weeks. Now I have two people in my household and I've got four buckets. So I'm good for a month after I've exhausted everything else inside the house. One shortfall of the prepper pail is the lack of water. Uh, water, you're on your own, unfortunately because it's very geographically sensitive to where you can get your water. Some people have access to streams or ponds or, or well water, and some people have nothing at all and they'll have to store it in water bottles. So 
that's up to you. You need to figure that out on your own. But the Prepper Pail is great for food and a few little odds and ends that you may need, such as booze. Please note, this is not meant to be as a, a go bag or go bucket where you can just take it out in the wilderness and survive and that's it. That's all you need. This is not it. This is really meant to help you hunker down in your home and supplement what you already have in your house. You already got water more than for the most part. You already have a way to cook for the most part, probably. This is just meant to supplement your ability to gain food uh, when food becomes scarce for a short time period. And that's it. Uh, protection, water, other resources. You're going to have to figure that out on your own for your own particular situation. But this bucket of food will always help in pretty much every situation out there. Let me know in the comments below what you guys are doing to prep for a natural disaster, a general food shortage or whatnot, because there are hundreds if not thousands of you out there that are doing pretty much the same thing in your own way. And that's one of the reasons why I started this channel was as a exchange of ideas. I learned from you guys just as much as you guys learned from me. I probably learned more from you guys than you guys learned from me. So this exchange of ideas in the comments area is what I love about this channel. So let me know what you guys are doing and I may adopt many of those ideas and hopefully this will help for you as well. If you want to stay on Deuce and Guns channel, go ahead and click on one of these two videos right over here. And that will keep you watching away and as always, you guys have a great day. See ya.